Hello and welcome. You're watching Startup Wednesday. Today on the show, we've got a bunch of very innovative startups for you. From taking on women's safety to raising awareness about developmental disorders, this is what some young startup founders are up to to make it big in the startup world. With a growing number of online shoppers in India and in a battle to ensure quick and efficient deliveries, the demand for delivery boys has also increased. But most of these young boys come from small towns and often struggle on the job with no prior work experience. And this is a gap that a startup is hoping to fill by training delivery boys using a fun app. Take a look. 23-year-old Rahul is from Jaunpur district in Uttar Pradesh. He came to Delhi last year hoping to find a job and help his family make ends meet. But with no prior work experience or training and just a school leaving certificate in hand, the road wasn't easy. Many share Rahul's experience. With the startup boom in India, there's also been a rise in demand for blue collar workers, drivers to delivery boys, warehouse workers, etc. More jobs on offer certainly, but startup founders say that training them has been a big challenge. Bangalore-based logistics startup Roadrunner that's currently expanding its workforce of delivery boys too, faced a similar issue. If you ask me, this is the only thing that requires innovation. Okay. If you see this field, we are getting very much less connected to the delivery boys. We have hired 6,000 delivery boys. There is no way we connect to them. Yeah. Right? We were facing lots of problems. They don't feel togetherness with the company. Mm -hmm. Engagement with the driver was which, which we were missing. Mm -hmm. If you go on to other models, there were warehouses where people used to come. Mm -hmm. They used to pay attention to their supervisors and all. Mm -hmm. So they feel they are within the company. Mm -hmm. In our model, what you see that people we sign up and they are in the field, they are doing work, they go home, mm -hmm. they get bank checks and all. Mm -hmm. So to engage with them, we didn't have a communication channel. This is the gap a startup is hoping to bridge. Founded by Pratik Shivastav, Basil Advisors is a horizontal talent management company that's aiming to train delivery boys using an app on a smartphone. Hey, the idea behind creating this was to make them successful. Most of these guys come with an 8th grade pass or a 10th grade pass. That's the kind of background most of the delivery boys would have generally. So for them, if you give them a content which is too heavy on, on just words, etc., their ability to grasp that on an on-the-ground situation is very, very poor. It's very limited. What we did was uh, we created a game and the content became fun for them. So they were not really thinking that they were getting into a training program or utilizing a content which is, which is very boring or where they don't have to do anything. Inspired by popular games like Candy Crush and Farmville, the app works on their soft skills like how to greet a customer while at the door to learning basic maths to calculate money. The app offers features to help a new employee learn to tackle different situations that he might encounter while delivering a parcel. And all this is in the form of a fun game. No one tells him how to be successful in this job. And it's not an aspirational job. You know, you weren't born to become a delivery boy kind of a thing. So you have to show them what value they are doing to a company. I mean, for example, for Flipkart, uh, this delivery boy is really the representation of the brand to a consumer. Yeah. He's the only one who connects to a consumer. I don't think so anyone really talks to them like that. Uh, with this game, uh, the derivatives make him believe that he's really making a big difference to the brand. Yeah. We think because of that, the iteration would definitely come down. Okay. To answer your first question, well, there are 50,000 delivery boys running around the country every day. Yeah. By 2020, we expect this to be at least 5 to 7 lakh delivery boys running around the country. The app is designed in the form of various levels of missions. The user unlocks a new mission as he successfully completes one. And the startup can keep a track of the employee's growth curve. The app currently has 5,000 active users and is available in four languages. Roadrunner के साथ मैं चार महीने से हूँ. जब से Roadrunner के साथ मैं जुड़ा हूँ, जब से मुझे बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला है delivery का काम करते हुए. App बहुत interesting है. According to a report by Morgan Stanley, India will have almost 320 million online shoppers by 2020, compared with 50 million in 2015. And startups like Roadrunner that have been using this method to train their workforce give a positive feedback. When we saw that there was an 80% increase um, in the on-the-job performance of, and that suddenly changed things. 
Now we have data to support, hey listen, people who played this have 80% increase in their on the job performance. Wow. Customer calls drop by 60-70% within the first week. With more Indians ordering online than ever before, the need for train delivery boys in the booming e-commerce sector is only expected to shoot up in the months ahead. Last year, e-commerce and logistics startups reported an overall shortage of delivery boys, with a massive shortage of about 1 lakh employees during the festive season. Startups like these are hoping to train more men to join their workforce. With camera person Azam Siddiqui, Simarpreet Sembi for NDTV. Next up is a very inspiring story of 19-year-old Harsh Songra. This young entrepreneur is on his way to create awareness about developmental disorders using his startup My Child app. My colleague Mrinali Fernandez has this report. Harsh Songra was in the sixth standard when his parents were told that he should be sent to a school for disabled children. Harsh suffered from dyspraxia, a developmental coordination disorder that causes delayed body movements. It took his parents nine years to figure that out. Determined that no other family should go through the same hardships, Harsh took to Android programming at 16 and three years later came up with the My Child app. I figured out that one out of every six children suffer from one or the other developmental disorder. So, uh, when I was 16, I started working on an algorithm which was fast, efficient and parent oriented and I tried to put it all in a mobile app and that's when I came up with my child app which does all the things that took my parents 9 years at a point of time in just 45 seconds. Harsh's My Child app helps parents screen developmental and neurological disorders. Launched in January 2015 on Google Play Store, it is meant for kids between 11 and 24 months. Just answer 11 questions regarding the child's development over the months and the app acts as a reference point about possible disorders. We want to empower parents with the help of the app to, to know what their child is going through and to learn how they could solve the problem. Harsh was pursuing computer applications at the Bhopal School of Social Sciences before dropping out in November 2015. Since then, he has received many accolades for his app. He was awarded the title of Nokia's App Developer of the Week and his app was also selected as App of the Day by the company in July last year. It was also selected in the Facebook Start Bootstrap program. But the turning point, according to Harsh, was when Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg mentioned the app in a Facebook post. That was a pretty inter interesting thing for me. I mean, uh, uh, we grew exponentially after that event. And uh, that event happened at 2 a.m. in the night and I started getting a lot of notifications on my Facebook. But that event also came up with a responsibility. Uh, the, a responsibility which says that we are someone who, either in the dyspraxia community, there is a big community of people suffering from dyspraxia around the globe or either in the community where the parents are losing hope of what their child is uh, about their child. We are coming, at a, coming out as a ray of light. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for the 19 year old. If making the algorithm was a tough job, enlisting the help of developmental pediatrician for the research was even more so. When a person is 16 and he is trying to figure those things out, that, that's very difficult. So I met with a lot of doctors in my city and uh, tried to figure out the right, uh, you know, standardized point for the development of the child. Uh, then the biggest challenge for us was, okay, now we have made the algorithm, who is going to test it? So uh, figuring, figuring out that doctor who is first a developmental pediatrician, there are very less developmental pediatricians in India, so you cannot find out who is the right one and who is not the right one. Second, who will give you the time to test the app? Because there are very less doctors who actually give you time for things like this. A 2015 report by FICCI KPMG states India's healthcare sector is expected to grow to $280 billion in size by 2020 at a compound annual growth rate of 16%. With so much emphasis on this sector, Harsh hopes that upcoming startups will look to make a mark in the development disorder space. I would love to have uh, new startups who, who are focusing on this field because uh, we tend to focus a lot towards generalized healthcare. But no one is focusing on those who are uh, suffering from these kind of disorders. There is a big, you know, there is a big space for these people out there. 
and if you try to help them you are first solving a very important problem around the globe although an entrepreneur himself hash's main goal is to raise awareness about developmental disorders and remove the stigma attached to them in our society like i have always said that that uh, when we talk about developmental disorders or when we talk about diseases we tend to often get uh, you know confused about that for example most people uh, most people think that my disorder is totally related to something which is wrong in my brain but it's not it's related to just my physical activities right so uh, we not only need to raise awareness about these developmental disorder but we also need to tell people how to classify those disorders into certain categories it's time for a quick break now when we come back we take a look at how startups are hoping to make commuting and travel for women easier and safer stay tuned